Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we are going to learn the fourth and the last type of constructor which is copy constructor. So to explain copy constructor, we will take a simple example of a function. Here you can see define the function addition with return data type as integer because this will return a number. So and there are two arguments integer type a and integer type b then we have declared integer c to store the result of a and b and then we return the c this function will operate when we call it from the main function in the same way copy constructor this is the example of copy constructor in copy constructor what you can do like here you passed an integer a variable this is our data type and this is our variable so the same way you can pass an object as an argument that's why copy constructor is used this is the name of our class because object is a class type so we will pass it as a class and this is the name of the object and this is the reference because like in swapping we have to use this reference operator so we will use reference because this is the class type and this is our object so you will see a simple example where we will pass object as argument our two header files which are include conio.h and second is our include iostream.h now we will declare a class uh, we will take sample for example now we will take two variable and declare our constructor in public if you don't know what is constructor and all that you can watch our previous video so in this now we will pass our constructor as it should be the name of the class we will use sample and we will use this we will pass to constructor first will be simple so we will give this value 10 and we will give pass b25 so we will create two object in our main class so that one without any argument and the second will be with argument so this is basically just parameterized constructor but here the parameter parameters are not variable but are object so I have explained you have to use the data type as the name of the class which is sample reference operator and you can use a temporary variable here so we will use t now we passed an object t with class sample now what we will do we will because here we have saved values in a so this value are saved in a and b because we will call this first so a and b saved b and now in the second we will pass argument as the first object i will explain it later but now what we will do we will use the a and because the object is t we will use t dot a because in this object there are two variables also which are a and b so the t of a which is in this operator will be passed to a and in b the value of b will be passed now we will define a simple display function this is simple a is equal to we'll use our a and c out b equals to our b now this is we have declared our display function now we'll close the class and in the main function now we will declare our object so as i have created two constructor here you can see the first one is sample without any argument and the second one is sample but with an argument as object so we will declare a simple object here because the name of the class is sample we have to use sample we will declare a simple s without any argument and we will use an s2 with we will pass the first object 
now as you can see first we have declared a object s so when uh, at the time of the execution this will be declared it will invoke this constructor and will save 10 in a and 25 in b so the value of a and b will become 10 and 25 respectively then it will declare the second object which is s2 but it will pass the parameter as s and the, the value 10 and 25 is already saved in this object this s so it will take uh, argument as s2 10 and 25 and will invoke this constructor so then there are two values saved in t you can also use s there is will be no error because it's just a temporary variable so there are two values which are saved in s they are 10 and 25 and we have to use s here too just for some better understanding now what we have said in s of a this is the object we have passed from the main function and these are the variables which are empty so we will use s of a into a and s of b into b now both this a and b have the same 10 and 25 value so we'll clear the screen C L R S C R. now we will call to display function for our both these objects so we will use separate mess separate message uh, output of s is we'll use our object s no it's just a line so we'll not use anything we will call the display function here display and now we will get the output of s2 this is our second object so s2 s2 dot display we will call the display function by using s2 and now get ch to hold the screen and close so i will explain once again what we have done so in the main function we have declared as object s when at the time of execution this will be declared it will invoke this constructor because there are no arguments so this will invoke this constructor and the value a and b will be get to 10 and 25 value then after s we have declared this s2 so this will invoke with the parameter s and already the s has two values a and b a is 10 and b is 25 so in s2 it will pass because this is the object with parameter this will get invoke and this will pass a is equal to 20 because the s which we have passed has the value 10 is equal to a is equal to 10 and b equals to 25 now this s of a and s of b will be copied in the variable a and b so the output for the s2 will be the same as s because we have passed the first object in the argument then we have declared a simple message output of s is s is our first object here and this is s0 so let's run the program sorry there is a spelling error l a y now we will run the program again there is a mess so we will use our slash n and slash t again we will use slash t slash n slash n is for new line and slash t is for space after the object again we will do the same thing slash n slash t n is for new line t is for tab i will run the program again and as you can see the first object is called output of of a, sorry i written s there will be a of s is a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 25 and of output of s2 is a is equal to 10 because at the time of invoking s2 we have passed the parameter s so this is the last video of the series constructor now the next series will be inheritance so stay tuned if you have any suggestions please comment like subscribe